Let us play for the love of the game. Some guys are already in the studio. Toby Adekpoji is back. It's been very, very busy for Toby covering the league. Toby will get some rest now. Toby, good to have you on the show. Yeah, it is a pleasure hosting. Good to be here. I mean, it was an amazing season uh, mm. from January to September. We had fun. Uh, we had a lot of moment, um, negative, positive. Mm. But I'm excited in the league, you know, really come to an end in a grand style. It was a photo finish between Plate United and MFM. Mm. You know, both teams struggled last season. MFM wow. survived on the last day. Mm. Plate United survived with three games uh, to go. It, it wasn't in the brilliant season for them last year, but this season, you know, this season took this season to storm. Mm. No one expected them. Mm. You know, at some point, everyone thought uh, Plate United would not survive this. They would not last. I mean, <laughs> for he said, we'll stay top of the log. Uh, for 35 weeks out of, mm. I mean, out of 38 was an amazing moment. MFM also good to see mm. a very small club in court, you wow. know, uh, competing for the league title and mm. finishing with the contest. It was an amazing season. I'm amazing. really excited. I know, amazing season it is. And in your book, Monday, you can explain how amazing it is uh, because Play 2 United showed us all the qualities. They showed us that, look, we can win this title. But what you didn't understand the last time you were here was how they left it till the last day of the season. Mm. They, they left themselves very late and you're excited that they won the, t the title. You're very pleased that um, consistency, um, desire, passion, and um, sheer resilience has, mm. has given them the title in the end. And you're very excited for Kennedy Boboye and the boys. And it was a brilliant season, as Tobia, Tobia said. Season of spills and thrills and, and drama and twists and turns and wriggles everywhere. It was, it was a brilliant, brilliant season. And the interesting part for me is the fact that Plateau United, MFM, and Aqua United, three of the sides who escaped relegation by his breath last season, are in the top four this season. And it's brilliant. It's, it's the bread and butter of the NPFL, and it's exciting as it gets. And good to see the league being played with so much drama and so much excitement. Hmm, I know. So that's it. So much drama and so much excitement. Talking about drama, I was still waiting for the league management company to let us know what's going on in that abandoned game between Gombe United and Wiki Torres. And that's why uh, no one has a right to say that shooting stars have been relegated because uh, they, they, right now, everyone in Ibadan will be praying and fasting on that <laughs> result. This man in the middle is also, he's also in some agitation. Yeah, drama. We yeah. saw a lot of drama. And we didn't expect to even see one... Um, uh, on the final, the boys it's football, anything. Kind of yeah, um, I mean, uh, passion, when passion flows, you know, mm. um, sometimes uh, it's difficult to control emotions, but I mean, it is, it is not good for the league. Uh, yeah. it, is, it is very unacceptable, mm. you know, sportsmanship mm. behavior mm. Uh, from the Gomez United fans. Yeah. Maybe they felt um, there was a trick and they don't want to support that. They want fair play, you know, to take charge. They want Wiki to win on merit, but I, I, I don't know. But yeah. no matter how, how they feel, how well, they felt, you know, it was wrong, uh, you know. To, rivalry to, came to play. I mean, it, it was very wrong to, to, to put, you know, uh, such, you know, uh, bad behavior into play. I, I just hope we'll not see, don't forget last season also, we had the issue with Atlanta, Atlanta FC, mm. you know, worked um, on, on Plato United, United on, on, yeah. on the last match day. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was expecting the league to just finish, you know, on Saturday. Mm. But we had this drama, drama is part of football. Yeah. And then I hope um, LMC will be on top of their game. And for a Gombe United player, if you've had a terrible season, you've had... You've Already really down good, and, and you know, out. Down to the NNL. Mm. And I'm thinking the players would have lacked motivation going into that game. But yeah. I'm also thinking you're playing the last game of the season yeah. in front of your yeah, home fans. Yeah. You, you need to start showing the fans that next season will be better. And, and you scored an own goal first. And then you scored an own goal first <laughs> and the fans... And, I, I, and the fans <laughs> question the own goal. <laughs> we've said, now what's going on here? It's, it's part of the game. So, mm. I've seen some ridiculous own goals. I've seen own goals that you just sit and look back and say, that's really uncanny. How did that happen? But the fans need to understand that this is part of football. And the LMC needs to organize um, sensitization programs. The clubs themselves actually need to mm. sensitize their fans that sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, That's sometimes right. you draw. Yeah. You can't go into a season expecting to win 19 home games. Yeah. If we stop thinking that we can win 19 home mm. games, I don't think these things will happen again. I know. I know, he's thinking. Chelsea won the league in England mm. and lost the opening game at Stamford Bridge against Burnley. Burnley, would you believe it? And, and the fans of That's Chelsea did, did go asking for the uh -huh. manager's head and thinking Chelsea are throwing this away. back up now. Absolutely, because the fans need to understand mm. that football, it's, it's about 11 players, 11 v 11. Mm. If you go into the field and play well, you'll win. Yeah. If you don't play well, you're going to get beaten and beaten very well. And the desperation from um, Wiki Torres was shown on the day because they want to stay in the yeah. big time. Yep. So they're going well, away well, from well, home. They says, not with us. It's <laughs> <He's laughs> <laughs> And I like it because right here, our passion for football is loud. Mm, That's is. what we're seeing in the Nigeria Professional Football League. Let's take a look at March Day 38 results from the MPFL 
final day result, uh, Plateau United, they came out at the Rampang Stadium with all of the confidence in the world. Kenneth Bobo is saying, yeah, this stadium, let us see. Let us see how Inugu Rangers will win. Because they were so certain that MFM will not win at El Canemi, and that's what happened. So, uh, they played good football. I must confess, I watched that match. Uh, Toby, you were there also. Plateau United showed us why they deserve to win this title. Complain about the pitch whatsoever. Yep. They know how to move the ball on that. Yeah, I, I really agree with you. Mm. You know, a lot of talk about Plato United, how we haven't seen much of that game on TV this season, how they got most advantage from set pieces. But I, like, I, like I've said here, I mean, this is the maker of men, the first goal, the tallest man dribbling in the MPFL. You know, got everything. Daniel Tudo was a star man. Every time Daniel Tudo picked mm. the ball, you hear the noise. I know. You know, fans chanting their mm. names. Ajiboye was brilliant at the back. Uh, there's, you know, Benjamin Tomba who scored the second goal. Peter Energy who got called up for the Waffle Cup. They're right. a brilliant winger That's also. Right. I mean, they, they, they got a brilliant team. That's they really right. showed stuff on, on, on TV. Mm. On the last day, they were determined. They, you know, they showed that quality. They need to, they, they need to get a match done. And I, I like the fight from Rangers International. That's they are right. the champions. They don't want to go down easily. Mm. You know, they, they showed up on, 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 on the day. And I mean, Plato United find it very difficult to build in. But two goals was, was good for Plato United. Brilliant day. You know, they, 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 it, it was a packed atmosphere. They've never witnessed this in, I bet, in over 40 years. I think last time um, a, a, a Plato United side, I beg your pardon, a Plato State side won a league was Mighty for five years ago. That's right. this, this was first you know, league title for Plato United. The last major title was mm -hmm. in 1999. Mm -hmm. The fans came out you know, in numbers. I mean, it was a big day for them. Awesome day for Plato United. I, I, I tell you, look, um, and they, were, they, were, they, were, they, they appreciated the presence of the governor. And for that, the governor says, look, you will not play football here again. Because everyone is saying this pitch is bad. Yeah. This pitch is bad. Even the environment, the capacity. But they are putting up a mega stadium that will play, that uh, United will play in the CAF Champions yeah, League. Zaria it's Rouge. good. Yep. But another thing is in your bong is a new stadium. Uh, they will need some time to get used to it. Absolutely. But it's better than it, having yeah, a bad pitch. They will need pitch. some time to get used mm. to it. And the, the big clubs around the world will tell you that it's very difficult to acclimatize to a new surrounding. Mm. It's not just about mm. the stadium. It's not about the field of play. No. It's about the fans getting to the field mm. of play and understanding this. This is our ground. This is our home ground. It's yeah. a cold drum. So right, Plato yeah. United will take time yeah. to get into the new stadium. But you've got mm. to give Kennedy Bobo your yeah. credit. Because last season, he was at Abia Warriors. Mm. Started the season like a house on fire. In the middle of the season, they crumbled. He got lost his job. But this season, Kennedy Boboy has been the steadying factor in that That's play right. to United side. When the players started getting excited about the title, mm. got them saying, no, take it easy, take it easy, no, nothing has been won yet. Mm. He has, he will go down to the wire, will fight till the final That's day, right. and he's done a magnificent job, yeah. and we give them credit. And talking about the town, the town was red with frenzy. Oh my the fans, God. I was seeing pictures all over the internet, and I was wondering why I was not in just because uh, it looked like always, would have all the way, <laughs> <laughs> some of us could even get out of the stadium because it was palpable. People were sitting on, on the scoreboard. Yep. People were on the floor. On the mat. On the mat everywhere. Jam pad. Austin, when you have not won a title wow. before, yep. when you have not won a top flight title before, and you get that close, and you have one hand on the trophy, and the destiny of the league is in your wow. hands, the fans have got to throng the stadium, man. No, they can't. You give credit to the governor, they give credit to Platina, to give credit to the players. What a fantastic season they've had. And to Toby has said it rightly. Mm. They, they didn't have the superstar marquee players, mm. but they had a side with players who were ready to play, ready to work hard, were ready to go on the field of play and earn their money. And they've also made names that we can mm. remember. Yep. Uh, let's just give you updates from the Wafu Cup. Remember, Coach Salisu Yusuf and uh, some players from the, uh, from the league, the home base Eagles, they are looking for uh, qualification to the next round of the uh, Wafu Cup. What's the update? It's Nigeria 2, Sierra Leone 0.